Hey guys, Buffner Gaming here, bringing you back another video, and today we're going to cover the AK-15, or the blueprint known as the Steel Curtain, which I unlocked here. And so this is a modern variation of the current models of AK were in service in Russia, which are the AK-74s and AK-74Ms. So this is an AK-15 blueprint, essentially, which fires the 7.62 times 39 millimeter rounds. And I'm gonna, first going to show you how to unlock this, and then we're going to go through, take a look at the different parts to it, what makes it different as a blueprint versus the standard AK and the attachments you can make. And then also we're going to see how it performs in-game. So let's get right into it. And first off, you can see here, I made my own blueprint for the AK-15, is what I called it, because this is essentially what this is. Um, the actual blueprint here, you can see, is the steel curtain. So what you do is unlock this via this challenge if I go over to my barracks here go down to missions and it's the warriors code challenge so how, the way you do this is there's 12 steps to this objective and this was <laughs> very hard to complete I think this is the longest yeah so this is the longest steps you have different objectives to complete in order to, to get this blueprint so you can see your reward here is the steel curtain AK-47 also known as what it really is essentially is an AK-15. So first off, you need to get two public wins, get 75 kills, get five headshots in team deathmatch, 20 kills with equipment, capture 20 flags in ground war, get 20 point blank kills, get five wins in any objective mode, get 25 kills with kill streaks, get 40 kills with a secondary weapon, get 10 long shot kills, five wins in gunfight, and then 10 public match wins. So this one did take a while because the tracking for objectives is a little off. The hardest ones for this was easily the get 20 point blank kills. This one he had to do with a shotgun. Essentially, you can't be ADSing. You need to be right up in their face in order for it to count. And then also the 25 kills with kill streaks. For some reason, whenever I'm trying to get kills with kill streaks, it seemed to be very hard. And then um, the next, I think that those were the only two ones I had difficulty with. So this one took me um, a little while to unlock, but again, your reward, if we go back to the armory, is this steel curtain AK-15 model of the AK-47. So I think this is the closest thing we're going to get to an AK-12, AK-15 variant. You can see the gas tube is slightly different, but what makes this different is you can see the grip on the weapon itself is different than the standard AK. So first off, let's take a look at the weapon itself, the attachments. I'll show you what's different from the AK-47, then we'll get into some gameplay. So if I go to my loadout, my AK-15, so you can see I renamed it AK-15. So the attachments for this, we're going to have the Spetsnaz Elite Barrel, the Russian APX-5 Holographic Sight, and then for the stock, we want the FS, FF Close Quarter Stock. That gives it that modern look. The ammunition, it's coming with the 40 round mags, and then the tactical foregrip. So again, you can switch some of these attachments up. The difference here you can see is rear grip. So if I were to change rear grip, it's changing it like this, but the whole design, the aesthetic design of the rear grip, as well as the rail system that the APX-5 holographic sight is on, is completely different than the standard AK-47. So really quick, let me switch over to an AK-47. And we'll see, we'll see the differences. So if I were to attach the same attachments to this, it's going to look... I don't have that stock yet, but it's going to look completely different. So mags will go 40, under barrel, commando foregrip. So you can see, first off, the rail system that the Apex 5 holographic is mounted on is completely different, as well as the rear grip. So instead of a... Here you can only get a wooden rear grip with a standard AK. So you're getting a, a modern looking grip with the AK-15 model. And the overall polish and design of it just looks different, right? So if we go back up to the AK-15, you can notice the differences here with the grip and then with the rail system there that the, the site is mounted on. So here's our finished design. And again, you can switch this up a little bit. Also, if you wanted to make this an AK-12, which I'll do a more in-depth video on in the future, we would swap out the mag to the five four five rounds and then that would give us an AK-12. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna cover the, the AK-15. So again, this is the AK-15. We have Spetsnaz Elite Barrel, APX-5 Hollow Sight, FFS Close Quarter Stock. We're skipping the perk, 
the rear grip. We're using the 40 round mags here. And then we're using a tactical foregrip. So again, you can switch this up really however you want. The blueprint itself is a cosmetic change to the AK-47 that gives it that AK-15, AK-12 look. So you can do whatever attachments you want. If you keep it as a 7.62 millimeter weapon, this is essentially your AK-15. And then if we were to swap it to the 545 rounds with the ammo type, that's going to give us an AK-12. But again, we'll cover that in a different video. So let's go ahead. We'll jump into game. Unfortunately, I can't use this in private matches. So what we're going to have to do is do the, the test fire for the recoil patterns live in game. And then I'm also just going to run through and we'll do some gameplay. So here's the AK-15. Very pretty looking. And uh, you can put some camos on this as well. Usually what I've been running is um, this within camo right here, the Desert Hybrid. If you take a look at the AK-15 and AK-12 online, it does have pretty much like a sand dance or a desert hybrid um, design to it for what it's been shown off in Russia so far for uh, trial versions. And this is going to be put in production. The first models are going to be delivered. I think this began in 2018. It was recommended and approved. So these are rolling out now. Um, the Marshlands is the camo I want for it. That looks pretty nice. And then you have some pretty nice looking... Um, some tigers and then some digitals that are like some spetsnaz camos that i'm gonna end up putting on it but for this we'll keep it as black for this one and let's go ahead and get in and we'll see how it handles with some recoil fire okay so now that we're in game let's go ahead and test out the ak-15 and take a look at the recoil pattern so first i won't control the recoil So you can see there, the muzzle climbs basically straight up. So you have almost straight vertical recoil right there. So it's pretty easy to compensate for just by pulling down slightly and adjusting. So now if I were to adjust slightly and mitigate the recoil and control it. So you can see there, I was able to keep that spread pretty tight. Definitely kicks when you're trying to control it. It'll kick side to side horizontal a little bit there. So you definitely would probably be better off burst firing this at range let's check it again here so again these are center mass shots you're able to keep it tight enough but at a distance it's definitely going to be difficult i've noticed to land the shots you need based on how the horizontal bounces so you can mitigate that with throwing a compensator or other sorts of maybe four grips on there it'll it'll help that out let's go to select fire to single now and take a look at that So let's take a look there. Single fire. You're able to keep it a little tighter than the full auto when I'm controlling it. Here you have a full auto controlled, not controlled, controlling, and then this is select fire to single controlling it. So it definitely bounces a little bit, but it, again, it's not bad enough. This is a great medium range assault rifle, and again, it kicks pretty well. So you can hip fire this up close and personal if you need to, and if you wanted to throw a laser on it for, for hip fire or even a different grip, you could do that. So this is the AK-15, the blue curtain blueprint. I'm sorry, the steel curtain blueprint. So now let's go ahead and see how it handles in game. So the AK-15 is a modern variant, as I said, of the AK-74, the AK-47 line, but it's going to be replacing the AK-74 and 74M. And the AK-15 and the AK-12 variations fire 600 to 700 rounds per minute for the rate of fire. And again, the AK-12 is just the 545 version. So when I unlock the um, the different ammunition for that, we'll go ahead and show that one off as well. So the AK-12 caliber, as I said, is 545 times 39 versus this. The AK-15 is a standard AK-47 rounds to the, the 7.62 times 39 millimeter rounds. The only difference between the two weapons is the caliber that they fire. They're both gas-operated assault rifles. Length is 880 to 940. 40 with the stock, so that's millimeters. Barrel length 415. Weight in kilograms, they both weigh 3.5 kilograms. And then the rate of fire rounds, as I said, is 600 700. Magazine capacity 30 for both. And obviously, on this build, we have a 40 round magazine for the steel curtain or the AK 15 variant here. So, again, both of these, AK-12 and 15, were weapons that passed the Ratnik trials in Russia. And this has been, basically, the AK-12 has been in development since 2011. They had an early prototype, which got rejected. And through multiple variations and adjustments of the weapon, it was finally 
built and accepted and put into production to be the replacement for the Russian military to replace those AK-74s, so those old models. So this is going to be the new assault rifle. It was approved in 2018 and is rolling out to military forces going forward as mass production is starting to produce. So let's see if we can get into A here and see how this thing handles. So you can see there, it puts them down pretty quick. Nice. So you can see it definitely handles well. Darn. Except for right there. Assist your team at Bravo. Jeez, there we go. Oh my god. Definitely hurt there. So we can back up. We got definitely above us. They're coming in. Need backup in charge. There we go. Cruise missile ready. We're on Alpha. Stand by. Let me know what you guys think of the AK-15 down below in the description. Have you unlocked this yet? Do you want to unlock it? Is this something you'll even use, or are you just happy with the standard AK? But yeah, let me know below. Let me know what other recommendations you have for weapons. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.